Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I'm talking about irregular cycles today. Um, I wanna tell you a little bit about my personal story. Um, I was always, um, I always kind of had irregular cycles. At the very beginning of getting a period ever, my cycles were kind of regular, um, but then I remember when I went into university, that's when things really changed for me. University is really tough. Um, and this is a common thing I see in a lot of my patients when entering university, the, the high stress and change in environment can really throw hormones off and our genetics, I think. I think what's happening is this massive change is turning on the genes that you could have already been predisposed to PCOS and uh, causing some of these symptoms to be more prevalent, uh, which is kind of around the same time or a few years after when you could have gotten your period. <clears throat> for me, um, I found that irregular cycles were huge for me, but I also had issues with acne, irregular cycles, sorry, acne, uh, weight. Um, a lot of my weight was like just focused in on my abdomen. Um, it looked like I was always bloated at that time. And really understanding what is going on in my body uh, with a naturopathic doctor at the time is what really helped me. Um, the first and foremost thing that helped me was working on gut health. Um, I had a lot of candida in the gut, probably because of years and years of years of eating sugar as a child, um, which is very common, um, especially um, you know, in our society, eating sugar is very, very common, especially in children as well. And so it can be very hard to stay away from it. Um, and I remember, distinctly remember, um, actually being at the grocery store this last week and seeing um, these puff pastries. I can't remember what they were called. Um, oh, I can't remember, but like puff pastries filled with like cream and jelly. And those were my absolute favorite. And also, um, those um, those round, I can't remember they're called either, oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I've eaten these types of food. I wanna say, it's not a sloppy joe, it's like, um, uh, it's just like a round circle, looks like a brownie, and then has like squiggle line in white um, with cream, and those are really my favorite as well. Um, if I can think back on the things that I used to ask for as a teenager, child, and also as an adult, eating them off often. Um, and I found that working on my gut health is what really changed things for me. Um, the sugar levels came down, my glucose was much better, my insulin became better, and I actually started to lose weight in my abdomen, and I could see that the inflammation was going down. You can see pictures of me in the past where my face is like actually quite round, um, and changing my diet was and reducing the inflammation in my body actually is what helped my skin to actually look better. And people started noticing. Um, and I found that uh, working on my gut health is what really, really changed things. So reducing the sugar, killing the candida in my gut, and and then you know reestablishing it with good, healthy probiotics, um, things like glutamine to help heal the gut, um, and then also. Um, you know, working on the hormonal aspect of it. A big part of my case is high DHAS. Um, this is a type of hormone that ends up becoming testosterone and it's created in the adrenal glands. These are the glands that sit on top of the kidneys that release cortisol, our stress hormone. And sometimes when cortisol is high, our DHAS can get high too. So working on stress really actually helped to reduce my testosterone as well. Um, there's another form of testosterone called DHT, and this is dihydrotestosterone, and when this is high, something like saw palmetto can work here. Um, so if you are struggling, struggling with irregular cycles, working with a professional to really figure out what could be your root cause is what really needs to happen. And I'm also going to go over, you know, other ways that I can help you in my upcoming webinar, Three Ways to Rethink Your PCOS. This is next week. June 14, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be talking a lot about three ways you can really rethink your PCOS. And then I'm going to invite you to sign up to join me in a program that's online. I've created ex especially for the women in this group to help guide you on figuring out what's going on in your PCOS. And there's going to be so much support and accountability.
sustainability in this program because I really want to reach a wider audience to share my experience, share the success the women in my community have had and help you along the way. So please join me in that webinar, Three Ways to Rethink Your PCOS to Learn More. And I hope, I really, really hope I'll see you there. Take care.